Just hours before the Syria talks were due to start in Geneva, US Secretary of State John Kerry was in Paris meeting with some of his European counterparts. He told reporters the cessation of hostilities, now in place for over two weeks, had significantly reduced violence, but one side was not fully complying. The Syrian people strongly support the cessation of hostilities because it has made their lives better. And to date, the single biggest violator of that, by allegation, is the Assad regime. He also hit out at the Syrian Deputy Prime Minister, Walid Muwalam, who at a news conference in Damascus had said there could be no negotiation about the role of President Assad. A witness the comments made just yesterday uh, by the Foreign Minister of Syria, clearly trying to disrupt the process, uh, clearly trying to send a message of deterrence uh, to others. His comments were clearly aimed as support for the main opposition bloc, the High Negotiating Committee, whose members have been arriving for the talks. We want, we want to see an end, an end to this bloodshed in Syria. We hope that we see a serious partner. What's different about these talks is that the UN Special Envoy, Stefan Di Mistura, says he is straight away going to get to the substantive issues. Who's going to be in a new transitional government taking Syria towards new elections? That, of course, takes us to the key issue of President Assad and those around him. And on that, it seems right now, no one is prepared to compromise. James Bays, Al Jazeera, Geneva.